the cool air is coming and you know here we are we're in the fall winter's coming up we got some cool air coming up uh next week some relatively uh cool air for houston i'm I'm not talking about you know in the 20s and 30s but even 40s 50s and maybe even 60s people may want to crank up their fireplace their gas fireplace in their home so i've asked russell metzler our gas expert from gas product services to join me here on checker pro radio today russell how are you very good thank you joe yeah, hey, it's great to have you here. Um, you are our gas expert. We have a lot of electricians and plumbers and roofers and remodelers, but you're the only guy we refer to when it comes to gas products, any gas appliance in the home for the most part. Um, you know, we're talking about outdoor fire features in your gas fireplace, uh, your gas lanterns out front or in the back or on the side. Today, I want to focus on the fact that people are now calling you because the cool weather's coming up and they love their fireplace feature and they can only use it about three months out of the year. Otherwise, it's just ridiculous. So let's talk a little bit about what people need to do right now. You know, what I'm getting at, Russell, is they need to call you and have you come out and do a service to make sure everything is operating well because you get calls. As a matter of fact, you got a call recently through Checka Pro where a homeowner said, hey, we flipped the switch. It doesn't work. It hasn't actually worked in years, but we want to get it working this year. Yep. So those things uh, do do need to be maintained. We, we like to come out on an annual basis and make sure that the pilot burner is free of obstruction and that the pilot flame is is as it should be so that it's properly warming the sensors in there so that everything works when you flip the switch. If you have any kind of remote control device, you need to, to try push the button, make sure it comes on. If it doesn't, maybe it needs, it, it might be as simple as changing the batteries, but but I don't know without seeing it. So, so if you notice that something's not working, by all means, give us a call and we can uh, get you in the schedule. And I, you, meant, you mentioned the, uh, the cold weather coming. The phone always explodes when that happens, and it doesn't have to be super cold. Like you said, around here, 60-something degrees is considered cold. When, when you see the weatherman talking about a cold front coming, it's the time to give a call and, and get on our schedule to get the fireplaces working and the fire pits and all those things uh, that are associated with cooler weather. Absolutely. You can find Russell's phone number on our free website at Checka Pro. Here is his number now. Write it down, 281-408-4154, 281-408-4154. You have a special for our radio show listeners. What's that, Russell? Yeah, actually, we're pretty excited about our new website at gasproductservices.com. And right now, uh, up until the end of the year, actually, we have a special on outdoor kitchen equipment. If someone will go to our website at gasproductservices.com and order at least $2,500 worth of RCS gas uh, outdoor kitchen equipment, they'll receive the RCS refrigerator at half price. So it's regularly $399. It would be $199 for those folks that place orders up to twenty or, or a minimum of $2,500 from now until the end of the year. Fantastic. So that, that's the special. Okay, so your website again? Gasproductservices.com. Yep, gasproductservices.com. It's a brand new website. I haven't had a chance to take a look at the new site, but I know it's brand spanking new, so I'm going to go there Yes, sir. Uh, right after the show today. Russell's phone number, 281-408-4154, 281 281- Four zero eight forty one fifty four. Russell Metzler, the owner of Gas Product Services, has written a chapter, chapter six, in the Meet Checker Pro Joe book. And uh, you know, when he comes out to your home, ask him for one. If you want a free copy of the book, you can also go to our website and you can download a PDF copy for free, or you can email me at joe at checkerpro dot com and request for me to sign a copy, and I'll send it to you in the mail, and I'll pay for that. Okay, so if Russell doesn't have one, you can email me, joe at checkapro.com. Tell me you want the book, you know, actually a paperback book. You can get it on Amazon as well. It's twelve ninety five. In any case, getting back to Russell and his chapter, on page 54, he has eight tips, helpful gas tips. And Russell, I quickly want to go through these because this is something 
that people need to understand on a daily basis, whether it is their gas fireplace or any other gas appliance. So the number one tip that Russell put in here was if you smell gas, turn it off and call Russell. Right, Russell? That makes sense. Yes, absolutely. Turn it off and give us a call. And number two, like you said earlier, if the remote doesn't work, check the batteries. Could be the batteries, right, Russell? Always. Yes. Absolutely. Number three, there are more batteries under or next to the fireplace. What does that mean? Yeah, typically fireplaces with remote controls have some kind of receiver box. Uh, It's either on the uh, hearth right out in front of the fireplace, maybe to the slightly to the left or to the right. Or if it's a direct vent fireplace with a solid glass in front of it, then between the bottom of the glass and the floor of the room, there's going to be a louvered panel that will fold down and give you access to a kind of a maintenance area below the fireplace. And in there is going to be a little square box that has some AA batteries in it. Those are notorious for going dead over the summer, and they have to be replaced every year. So you've got the transmitter, which is the remote, and the receiver. The receiver often will need to have the batteries replaced as well because they need power. Number four, be sure to clear out the Venturi tubes on the grill burners. What's a Venturi tube? So on gas grills, they have typically a a burner of some sort down in the very bottom, and there's a tube that travels from the burner directly to the control valves or where the knob is. And that tube, if, a, if a, let's say a spider crawls in there and builds a little nest, then when you turn on the gas, the gas is, instead of flowing all the way up that tube into the burner, it's going to try to go up that tube, and it's going to run into that nest, and it's going to come back. And when it does that, it can catch fire right there behind where the knob is. It's what we call a flashback. So you've got to make sure that your Venturi tubes are completely clear of obstruction so as not to create flashback. Ah. If you have a flashback, it can cause damage and problems and so And possibly a quick haircut, so be careful with that. (laughs) Here's one. Don't get your gas logs wet. What does that mean? Well, gas logs are are not to be um, wet because they're, they're, they're concrete and they will absorb the moisture. And then if they later get real hot, which they will when you turn them on, they can crack. So you you don't want to get them wet. If you want to clean them, that's fine. You can even take them out of the fireplace. If it's regular vented gas logs, they can be removed and and taken outside and brushed off with a broom or something. And that's fine. But you don't ever want to hose them down or or spray water or soapy water on them or anything like that because the moisture will cause them to crack. Basically, don't clean them with water and or soap. That's right. Okay, here's one. Always open the chimney when burning vented logs. What's the difference between a vented and non-vented fireplace? So a vented log set is uh, burning pure uh, gas. It's not mixing any oxygen with the gas. So as a result, it's creating massive quantities of carbon monoxide. So all of that has to go up the chimney and out into the atmosphere. We don't want it coming into the room. So if you're burning vented gas logs, you've got to open the vent. If you have an unvented system, then it's mixing oxygen with the gas before it's burned. So it doesn't have the carbon monoxide issue that vented gas logs do. Therefore, you can either leave the chimney closed if you have the vented logs installed in a wood-burning fireplace, or... It's an unvented fireplace that doesn't have a chimney, so you don't have the option to open anything. You just, it's either turned on or it's turned off. Fantastic tips. Well, and you can get more of those tips on our website at checkapro.com. You can click on the book and download the PDF for free, or you can actually get one free from me this week from the Checker Pro Radio Show. Email me, joe, at checkapro.com. Uh, tell me you want the book, need your full name and mailing address. Russell Metzler's phone number from Gas Product Services is 281-408-4154. If you're not so sure you need Russell to come out, call him. He'll talk to you on the phone absolutely free. He might be able to even walk you through something. I've heard him do that before. He may walk you through something. He may not even need to come out. His number, 281-408-4154. Simply go to checkapro.com, click on gas, and you'll find him. Russell, thanks as always for joining me here on Checker Pro Radio. 
Yes, sir. Thank you, Joe.